गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स माई टॉपिक इज माइक्रो असिस्टेंट सिंथिस सो इन केस ऑफ द माइक्रो असिस्टेंट सिंथिस वी विल डिस्कस द डिफरेंट पॉइंट्स सच एज द इंट्रोडक्शन रिगार्डिंग माइक्रो असिस्टेंट सिंथिस एज वेल एज प्रिंसिपल एंड द मैकेनिज्म बिहाइंड द माइक्रो असिस्टेंट सिंथिस वॉट आर द एडवांटेजेस एज वेल एज द डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ माइक्रो असिस्टेंट सिंथिस वॉट आर द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ माइक्रो असिस्टेंट सिंथिस एज वेल एज द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ माइक्रो असिस्टेंट सिंथिस ओवर द कन्वेंशनल सिंथिस So first of all, we will see the introduction of microassisted synthesis. That is, what is meant by microassisted synthesis? The microassisted synthesis is the synthesis of desired compound from the available starting material via different multi-step procedure by using the microwave radiations. So, by using microassisted synthesis, the reaction time should get decreases from days or hours to time or minute, as well as the microassisted synthesis. provides the better purity as well as the selectivity of compounds as well as the microassisted synthesis is environmental friendly so next we will see what is the principle and the mechanism behind the microwave heating in electromagnetic spectrum the microwave region is mainly uh, placed between the uh, infrared rays and the radio waves for the microwave assisted synthesis the one more important thing is the dipole moment The, the compounds which are under the, the microassisted synthesis must possess the dipole moment in case of the microassisted synthesis as the dipole moment is get provides the substance the dipole moment is get sensitive to the external electric field so that it can be tries to align itself with the field of rotation and suppose we will reverse the electric field so that the electric field is get inverse and the dipole moment is get, get try to align itself with the field of electric field so that the rotation as well as the friction of the molecule takes place which is the important step for the macro assisted synthesis so the friction and the rotation are the two important steps in case of the macro assisted synthesis in case of the macro assisted synthesis the frequency of the macro radiations is about 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz so next we will discuss what are the different advantages of macro assisted synthesis the macro assisted synthesis in case of the macro assisted synthesis the process time is get reduced from the day or hours to minute or second as well as the macro assisted synthesis should be provide the high purity in the final products as well as in case of the macro assisted synthesis the unwanted side reactions are get are get reduced also the also the yield in the final product should get increases in the macro assisted synthesis as well as The macro assisted synthesis should be simplified and improve the synthesis procedures, as it improve the reproducibility, as well as the environmental heat loss is also reduced in case of the macro assisted synthesis, as well as the high energy efficiency can be attained in the macro assisted synthesis. Also, the low operating cost is required in the macro assisted synthesis, as well as the less sample is required in the macro assisted synthesis. From the 0.5 ml to the 5 ml per reaction, as well as in case of the micro assisted synthesis, there should be absolute control over the, all the reaction parameters, as well as the green solvents are also used in case of the micro assisted synthesis, such as the water ethanol. Therefore, the micro assisted synthesis is an environmental friendly process. Let us discuss in the disadvantages of the micro assisted synthesis. In case of the micro assisted synthesis. the heat force control is very difficult as well as the closed container in the macro assisted synthesis are mainly used to burst as well as the water evaporation is also occur in the macro assisted synthesis okay, next we will see what are the basic differences between the conventional heating and the macro assisted heating in case of the conventional heating the heating mechanism mainly involves the conduction but in case of the macro heating the heating mechanism mainly involves the dielectric polarization as well as conduction in case of the conventional heating the heating rate is less but in case of the micro assisted synthesis the heating rate is several folds higher than the conventional method in case of the conventional heating all the components are heated equally but in case of the micro assisted synthesis the specific compounds can be heated specifically in case of the conventional heating the heating should be takes place by the thermal as well as the electric field but in case of the micro heating The heating should be takes place by the electromagnetic waves. In case of the conventional heating, the vessel should be in physical contact with the surface. 
but in case of the macrosynthesis, there should be no need of the physical contact. And the last important is the applications of the microsystem synthesis. The microsystem synthesis has the many applications. In that, the first of all, the applications in the material chemistry. The microsystem synthesis mainly used in the synthesis of the inorganic solids, as well as microsystem synthesis in the preparation of catalysts, as well as the preparation of catalysts, as well as the for the nanotechnology. The microsystem synthesis can also be used in the polymer synthesis. The different polymers are also synthesized by using the microsystem synthesis. For example, polyacrylamide can be synthesized by using the macro radiations. As well as macro radiations have the applications in the analytical chemistry. Microsystem synthesis has the greater advantages in the organic synthesis, as well as in the waste management. The hazardous industrial management. can be managed by microstructure synthesis thank you stay with